my dear students assalamu alaikum hope you are all well by the grace of almighty allah i am shanti darahman assistant teacher of national ideal english version school deshit today i am going to take a class for the students of class 2 my today's class is science class okay our today's class is general science topic chapter 4 exercise b c and d word meaning plus one word answer from chapter 4 term half yearly exam our today's lecture number is 9 homework number 7 teacher's name Shandida Rahman and this is my contact number if you uh, need you can talk with me using this number now let's we go to our today's topic <coughs> Our today's topic is chapter 4 exercise number B. In our previous class, we complete reading done this chapter and also complete exercise number A. Today, we will do this exercise B, C, D and word meaning and one word answer. Now, let's go. We complete this. Here, there is a box there is a box here is the group of animals and example wild animals now you fill up this <coughs> box wild animals we know uh, which one is the wild animals we know that the animals who live in the forest they are called wild animals and wild animals are basically lion Tiger, deer, they are white animals. Number two, domestic animals. Domestic animals are the animals which live in our house and they depend on ourselves for their food, shelter, and other things. And you know that cow, goat, and uh, sheep they are domestic animals now we write the name of domestic animals cow c o w cow goat g o a t goat hen h e n hen <coughs> pet animals Pet animals are the animals which we uh, love and affection. We give them love and affection and we also keep them in our house. They are basically cat, dog, parrot, fish or different kinds of <coughs> birds. Pet animals, cat, <coughs> C-A-T, cat, dog, D O G dog <coughs> fish F I S H fish now number four beast of burden <coughs> beast of burden means the animals which we use for carrying goods and we also use them in our uh, field for cultivation the name of these animals are <coughs> cow, camel, cow, camel, donkey. They are called beast of burden because they are using for carrying goods. Now we know that from this uh, chapter, fill the table, group of animals, example, wild animals, lion, tiger, deer, domestic animals are cow, goat, hen, pet animals are cat, dog, fish, beast of burden, cow, camels, donkey, etc. 
number C. Exercise number C. Now we go to the exercise number C. Choose the odd one. Give reason for your answer. <coughs> one, two, three, four. In this question, in number one, there is name of uh, some animals, and you have to find out which one is or and why this is or we also explain it number one tiger bear rat and deer here the odd one is rat <coughs> why this is odd because tiger bear and deer they all are wild animals but a rat is not a wild animal number two sheep cow tiger donkey which one is the odd here tiger is odd why tiger is odd because sheep cow and donkey they are using for carrying goods they are beast of burden <coughs> animals that's why here tiger is a wild animal and it is different from other animals number three cheese milk butter curd here which one is odd here milk is odd now you can ask me why milk is odd milk is odd here because cheese but butter and curd all three things are made from milk but milk is not made from milk we get milk from cow uh, or other animals cow goat or other animals that's why these th three things are made from milk and milk is odd here number four parrot dog cat owl which one is the odd here owl is odd now we circle it why this is uh, odd because parrot dog and cat these three animals our pet animals we keep them in our house we love them we also give them they, uh, they are very nice house and we also give them food and other things and owl is the nocturnal bird and this is not a pet animal that's why this one is odd now we go exercise number d write true or false you have to write which one is the true and which one is the false number one lions live in burrows this is completely false because a rat live in burrows now we write false f a l s e false number two shoe is a leather product yes it's true now we write true t r u e true number three we get milk from ducks false because we get eggs from ducks f a l s e false car is a milk product number four and this question uh, this answer is true yes car is a milk product true number five Pets should be taken to vet when sick. Yes, it's true. T R U E true. Number six. Birds build nests to lay eggs. Yes, it's true. Silk is made from sheep. Silk is made from sheep. No, silk is made from silkworm. This is false. F a l s e false okay now we <coughs> learn word meaning okay uh, we again we revise it uh, exercise number d lions live in burrows false shoes is a leather product true we get milk from ducks false curd is a milk product true number five Pets should be taken to vet when sick. True. Number six, birds build nests to lay eggs. True. Number seven, silk is made from sheep. False. Now, word meaning. Number one, vet. V-E-T, vet. 
वेट मीन्स वेटनरी सर्जन दैट मीन्स एन एनिमल डॉक्टर ही इज ए डॉक्टर हु ट्रीट्स ओनली एनिमल्स और बर्ड्स एंड अदर एनिमल्स हाइट एनिमल स्किन एच आई डी ई हाइट मीन्स एनिमल स्किन एनिमल स्किन मीन्स हाइट एंड वेट मीन्स ए सर्जन वेटनरी सर्जन हु इज ए डॉक्टर ऑफ एनिमल एंड एनिमल डॉक्टर नाउ वी गो वन वर्ड आंसर इन दिस क्वेश्चन देर इज अ क्वेश्चन एंड यू हैव टू गिव आंसर इन ओनली वन वर्ड and this is called one word answer now we go to the one word answer where do hens live where do hens live coop where do hens live the answer is coop from which animal do we get silk from which animal do we get silk from the silk worm from which animal do we get silk Silk worm. S i l k. Silk. W o r m. Silk worm. Number three. Where do rabbits live? Burrows. Where do rabbits live? Burrow. B u double r o w s. B u double r o w s. Now, uh, my dear students, hope you understand our today's class, and you will abide by your parents. and also our homework is homework number 7 exercise number d this is our homework my dear students you submit your homework weekly and very nicely i hope you all uh, keep well with your parents stay fine stay safe and keep uh, yourself safe assalamu alaikum